Alrighty friends, so what we're going to make is our cat projects now. You're going to start with your tall cat first in these book bins here. You're going to find your tall and mediums. You're going to need to take this and fold it corner to corner, hot dog style. Okay, hot dog style is a long way. Then you're going to have two sides to your paper. The side that's opened, which has the flap, and the side that's creased. So the side that I just folded over and creased, I always call that the creased side, and the open side is, I always call it the open side. You're going to take your pencil and start at the open side, and you're going to draw a diagonal line that goes all the way to your crease side and touches that creased edge. What's going to happen now, if I cut that out with my scissors, I'm going to get a symmetrical looking cat shape. This guy's going to be glued right near the middle of the paper. But you need to make sure that the bottom part lines up with the bottom part of that construction paper background. So I'm going to get And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up. Okay, so now he's right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, now we're going to get our middle guy. He's also going to be in your book bin. Same thing, you want to fold it hot dog style, corner to corner. Find the open crease. Draw your diagonal from that open crease to your creased side. So the open side to the crease side should be an angle that goes downwards. And now we have our next cat. So I'm going to flip that over. Now this guy's got to line up at the very, one of the very corners, either this corner or this corner. So I'm going to line him up at that corner. We need to save enough space for our small. Your small ones are going to be located in your cookie bins or your pie bins. So you're going to pick your small. And these guys are about the same width all the way around. It's the height and width is the same. So there really isn't any hamburger or hot dog style. You're just going to fold this one in half. Draw from the corner to the crease. Not to get it on the table. Flip it over so that the pencil side showing. Get some glue on it, and then he is going to be glued about right on the other side. Now you can overlap him a little bit on this guy. You just want to be careful because we have to save enough room for us to get his eyes on there. So if we cover up an area where an eye is going to be, it's going to be very challenging to draw that eye in there. So I'm going to put him over here. Okay. So now I have my three cats that are overlapping. So what you're going to do now with the small triangles is you're going to cut some circles out for the eyes on each of your cats. Please don't draw your circle right in the middle because if somebody would like to use your scrap, look at I have enough room for somebody to use this because I stayed on the edges not in the middle so I folded my paper in half because what's going to happen now we don't have to draw on the edge or anything but what's going to happen now is when I go to cut this out is I'm going to get two circles instead of one and I'm going to glue those on here so when you go to glue your cir circles on here remember craftsmanship we want it to look neat so you should add the glue to the messy side so that when we go to flip it over, we don't see it. So if you have any pencil lines showing, add the glue to that side. Okay, so now I'm gonna do eyes for the bottom two. Look at me, I found a scrap I wanted, I'm gonna use that. 